and he'll heal this land. This one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for your prayers. The Bible tells us to persevere in prayer that the prayer of the upright pleases him, that the effective and fervent prayer of a righteous people availeth much. And in these challenging times, we do well, as you do today, to remember that in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, that we're to present our request to God. And we can claim the promise that the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, as his grace has through the generations of this nation. And today, at this Washington prayer march, you continue a great American tradition. Since the founding of our nation, the American people and our leaders have gone to prayer in challenging times. George Washington prayed for the leaders and the people of our states what he called an earnest prayer that God would hold them and our states in his holy protection. Abraham Lincoln, before whose monument we stand today, said during his time in the White House, I have been driven many times to my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. And President Donald Trump has observed many times that America is a nation of believers. And you proved that again today. So on the President's behalf, I want to say thank you for your prayers not only for the first family and our family, but for all of those who serve in positions of authority. When the President and I travel around the country, the sweetest words we ever hear, and we hear them a lot, are when people reach out and simply say, I'm praying for you. And so we want to urge you on. Pray for all of those with public responsibilities in the executive branch. Pray for all of the members of the Congress of the United States. Pray for all of our justices on the Supreme Court, including the remarkable woman that the President will nominate to fill the seat on the Supreme Court later today. And as the proud parents of a United States Marine, with a son-in-law deployed in the United States Navy, we ask you to pray for the men and women of our armed forces this day and their families. Pray for all of those who protect and serve, especially the men and women who serve on the thin blue line of law enforcement at every level. And in these challenging times, in the wake of a global pandemic, we urge you to play, pray for all of those who are struggling with loss and with serious illness. Pray for our doctors and nurses and all of those that are bringing America through this challenging time. And when you pray, pray with confidence. As we stand today on an ancient promise that Americans have claimed throughout our history, that if his people who are called by his name will humble themselves and pray and turn. He'll do like he's always done through much more challenging times in the life of this nation. He'll hear from heaven and he'll heal this land, this one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. God bless you all, and God bless America.